All right, so it is 17 November 2020. Uh, I went to the dermatologist earlier today and uh, I had a little bit of tinnitus keratosis here on the bridge of my nose and also on the end and they froze that off. They took a, a Q-tip, put it in some liquid nitrogen and uh, pressed it against my nose and um, I'm expecting some of that skin to fall off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna video my nose so that uh, you can see what it looks like if you have to go in and get some uh, some spots frozen off on your nose, what it's going to look like as the skin falls off. Alright, so it is approximately 27 hours or so after the uh, application of the liquid nitrogen to the nose. Not a whole lot's going on right now. It might be a little bit redder than it normally is, but no skin falling off yet. Alright folks, it's been 48 hours since I had the spot on my nose uh, frozen and uh, I think you can you can start to see where the skin's going to fall off of it or at least I can tell um, right there at the bridge of the nose and uh, a little bit lower the area at the bridge of the nose is pretty well defined the other area still a little hard to see mostly because of my acne I think it's making it hard to tell what's going to fall off there but so that's 48 hours. All right, so it has been 74 hours, just a little over three days, uh, since I had my uh, the skin on my nose frozen. And um, you can see here um, where this is getting, this is feeling kind of scaly. Obviously you can see it. The stuff that was done here on the end of the nose is still kind of hard to see again because of my, I think my acne and stuff. but. Um, it feels scaly. It's starting to scab up a little bit like this up here is. Um, just, just kind of rough and bumpy and scaly. Alright, so it has been 84 hours or three and a half days um, since the freeze. And most of the stuff here on the end of the nose has gotten flaky and scaly and fallen off during the course of the day. Um, so most of that's gone. There's a little bit of stuff there that I can still feel. And then this patch here is still a uh, rough and scabby, scaly feeling. Um, but you can see here on the edges where it's starting to, starting to lift up. So uh, that's going to be flaking off or peeling off. Or I can pull it off here fairly soon. Maybe even by tomorrow. So uh, anyway, that's where we're at at 84 hours. All right, it's been 96 hours since the freezing. You can see uh, I've got quite the uh, well-developed scab right there on the nose. Feels like, uh, feels like a cornflake is stuck to my nose. And uh, so we're just kind of waiting on that to fall off. This here seems to be done doing whatever it's going to do here on the, the end of my nose. Um, I just don't think they froze that quite as much. The doctor said he was he didn't like to freeze too much on the face because uh didn't want too much of it falling off and having unintended consequences. So at any rate, that's where we're at 96 hours. Alright, so it has been 105 hours. Um I'm doing this a little bit early because I'm I'm getting ready to go get in the shower and this thing here is peeling so bad on the edges that uh there's a good chance it's going to come off in the shower. So I uh, wanted to show you what it looked like before I went and got in the shower. So again, it's uh, hopefully you can see that in the camera. It's the edges are starting to come loose pretty good. All right, so I just got out of the shower and I did not intentionally try to remove this in the shower, although I did not try to avoid it either. And you can see it, it came off kind of as I was predicting. So that's what my nose looks like right now. Now um, I will tell you I had this done Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock and it's currently Friday or no, excuse me it's currently Saturday at 6 p.m. So um, if you're concerned about your appearances and you have to have this done maybe Wednesday would be a good day because then that way uh, hopefully everything would fall off and stuff by Sunday night uh, if you have to go to work Monday or however you're your schedule works. Hopefully this time frame of what happens to your skin after you get a, it froze um, will help you 
determine what your personal time frame would want to be and when you might want to have this done. So uh, again, hopefully it helps. 120 hours. All right, so we are 132 hours after freezing. And there's still some, some scabby scaliness there. Uh, so I think it's good. It's not 100% healed, but it will be soon. All right, so it's been 144 hours after freezing uh, the skin on my nose, the liquid nitrogen. And you can see this is it's re scabbed. I thought this was going to go away a couple days ago, uh, but it's, it's crusted over again. And uh, so we'll have to wait for that to fall off, I guess. All right, so we are at 156 hours, I believe, uh, by my count. And you can see, I just got out of the shower, um, but you can see where there's some edges starting to raise up around that. Um, so hopefully here soon, that, uh, that crusty, scabby area will uh, come loose and fall off. All right, so it has been a full week, actually 170 hours um, since we had our nose frozen. And you can see, if I can get this to where it's not blurry, um, we still got this red spot here. It is um, basically just a scab, crusty area, and it's a little itchy. And we're just waiting on that darn thing to fall off. And... Uh, doesn't show any signs that it's going anywhere anytime soon, but uh, that's where we're at. All right, it has been 180 hours, and zoom in here for you. So this thing is the scab is still hanging on there. It's uh, it's starting to come loose though, around the edges at least. All right, folks, we're at 192 hours, and um, the spot just keeps getting a little smaller. I was expecting it to fall off in one piece, but it um, doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like it's going to just kind of flake off around the edges until it gets smaller and smaller and disappears, I hope. So at any rate, that's where we're at. All right, so if my math is right, we're at hour 204, and uh, this thing's been getting smaller. It's slowly been um, flaking off little by little. It didn't come off in one big piece, but uh, it is coming off. You can see the edges there where it's kind of up a little bit, and uh, hopefully it will be gone by tomorrow. I keep saying that, but... Um, We'll see. Alright, so it has been 216 hours and I've still got just a little bit of a scab there. Um, you can feel that it's thick. It may not, may just look like a dark spot or a freckle, but uh, you can feel it's a, it's a scab and uh, still waiting for that thing to fall off. Alright, so we're at 228 hours and it's almost all gone. I can still feel there's some thickness there, so that will probably continue to scab up and maybe fall off, but a lot of the other stuff has fallen off, so 252 hours. And that scab there is still hanging on. All right, we are at 264 hours. Seems like an awful long time. And, uh, I still got this scabby thing on the end, around the middle of my nose there. All right, we're at 274 hours, and um, a couple hours ago I scratched that that scab off, so um, we're gonna call this done, finally.